Today, I'm going to show you how I smooth out blemishes on my skin in Final Cut Pro X, and we'll do this without any plugins. Now this is my little secret that I'm exposing. I'd love for everyone on YouTube to think I have perfect skin, but sometimes we have a little less than gorgeous skin day and we need a little help. So I'm going to share my little trick in hopes that it's helpful for you. Here's a clip of a wig try-on video I'm currently editing. This cosplay wig is looking fabulous, but you can see I had some red blemishes on my skin that I noticed after I filmed, and now I'd like to remove them. First, let's duplicate the clip. Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Now drag the duplicated clip under the original clip and make sure they line up. Go to your Final Cut Effects tab and go to the Blur section. Now pull the Gaussian blur onto your underlying clip. You can see that if I deactivate the top clip, that our underlying clip is heavily blurred. We don't need to change any of the automatic settings here, you can just leave them as is. Now I'll reactivate our top clip, go to the mask section of the effects and pull a draw mask onto your top clip. Now we'll draw a mask around the section of skin I'd like to smooth. Once we've drawn our mask, check the invert mask option here. You can see the skin is very blurry and it looks like a very obvious mask. Just like using foundation, we need to blend. So let's adjust our mask settings. I like to start with the fill opacity at 50% and we can adjust this as needed. I'll set the feather amount at 40%. Feathering is the amount of blending between the masked area and the unmasked area, and this will help reduce the mask lines. Now at 50% opacity, the skin is already looking a lot better. But I think I can bump this up to smooth the skin a little bit more. I like how this image is looking at 70%. Play around with the opacity level of your clip and see what looks best to you. We want to set these levels before we start adding keyframes, so take your time with this step. Now I want the mask to move with me as I move, so I need to key each frame. Go to the very beginning of the clip. Now this part is a bit tedious. You can see if you expand the control point section, you can see each of the points of our mask. For our purposes, minimize this and we'll just key all the points with one button. Now in the draw mask parameters here, we are going to add a keyframe to the position, rotation, scale, and control points. You're going to keep moving forward to each new frame with the arrow key on your keyboard, and you'll adjust the mask as needed by moving any individual points, dragging the whole mask, or resizing as you go. Since we keyed the very first frame, any new adjustments you make to frames later in the clip are automatically saved. You'll see this diamond-shaped keying button turns yellow when there is a recorded change to the position, rotation scale, or placement of a mask control point. Now that we've keyed all the frames in the clip, you can click on this little drawing tool icon in the draw mask to deselect it. Now you won't see any of the mask control points and we can view what the mask will actually look like in the clip. Make sure your clip has fully rendered before playing it back. If there are any adjustments to be made, you can scrub back to the frame that needs to be adjusted and move any points that need to be rearranged. Now that we've learned how to make a mask, I've also added masks to my cheekbones and my chin. Now let's watch back the clip before and after. And that's it. Now you have gorgeous smooth skin without purchasing any Final Cut plugins. I've also used this editing trick to lessen shine on my forehead or smooth out a wrinkle in the seamless paper backdrops I use. If you'd like to learn more Final Cut Pro editing tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to The Drunk Bridesmaid. Cheers!